Hey guys, it's Ma'or, aka Ozana. Oh, so like, me and Snapchat have been on and off for a while. Like, I just can't commit. Snapchat, to me, is like the Drake in the relationship, and I'm the type of girl he's made six <laughs> albums about. Snapchat, to me, is like the Rita Repulsa to my Power Rangers, because she's out here repulsing me, but conquering everyone else in the universe. I just don't like it. But there's like a reason for it. The snaps people send me suck. Now I know everyone around here is gonna be like, Damn, or you do your friends like that? They work hard on those snaps for you. By the way, my friends don't know how often I delete Snapchat, so do not tell them! Why is my Facebook feed so empty? And I can't be alone in this, right? You all know who I'm talking about. You all know the five types of people on Snapchat. First up, we have got to talk about the Frodos. These are the types of people who are just always in their car, and it's literally just 30 snaps of them na -na -na -na, singing in the car, sitting in the car, eating <laughs> in the car, taking out a mortgage and starting a family. But you guessed it, in the car. I'm calling them the Frodos because it's like, do you ever get where you're going to? A never-ending story was written about your daily commute to work. My finger can tap this screen 30 times and you still haven't arrived from point A to point B. Bro, we've been through your Spotify playlist six times. If I have to listen to you lip sync Maroon 5 one more time, I am going to explode! Number two is the many-faced god. Any Game of Thrones fans out there? Yeah, you know. <laughs> This is the kind of person who has on every filter. They're at the beach with like a deer face. They're at their friend's birthday with the dog filter. And as you tap through all of these, you start to realize, what do you really look like? God forbid you add anyone that you don't know on Snapchat, but like, I've forgotten my own classmates' faces. They'll hit me up the next day and be like, Hey, did you see my awesome snap last night? <laughs> no, fool, which one was you? Cause all I saw were dogs. Number three, is this the real life or is this just fantasy? This person is FOMO incarnate. Every smorgasbord barbecue, they're there. Every awesome party, Beyonce shows up, T-Swift throws up on Miley, the host just decides to give everyone a Maserati, they're freaking there. And my question to you is, how? Like, don't get me wrong, I go outside, you see, obviously I have some melanin in me, but like, how? I go outside and the coolest thing that happens to me is like a bird shit on my car. Seriously? Teach me your tricks because it's impossible for me to organize anything. One friend has to work, one person's having a baby, one has like a cumulative final exam. On the first day of the semester, when you came in 20 minutes late, what was on the board behind you as you desperately tried to find a seat? Answer this to get an A on your final exam. <laughs> One person's gonna propose after they finish fighting this army of aliens. Typical, typical stuff. <sighs> Number four, 50 shades of selfie. Look, I am all about taking one, two, <coughs> 15 selfies. I take, no joke, 30 selfies on a daily basis. However, I do not post them all for your benefit. <laughs> I am proud and happy because my friends are feeling themselves and they're feeling beautiful and they definitely deserve to. But after selfie number 42, it's kind of just like, okay, can we please hurry this up because I have shit to do. And last but not least, number five, this is a five, this is a five. The mother effin' connoisseur. These people are so rare. They're beautiful, wonderful gems. These are the ones who managed to catch that dude picking their nose from across the room. They're the ones that send you them good, good snaps that make you go, Oh snap! How did she get her cat to flush the toilet? My girl! Why can't you do anything like that? Honestly, maybe I should have just called this one the unicorn because that's how freaking rare they are. Good quality snaps. If you're out there, hit me up. Please, add me. Please give me a reason not to delete Snapchat. We are <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you like because i'm getting closer and closer to my goal of a thousand subscribers every day and that's completely 1000 percent thanks to you guys thank you so much for all the love you give me and all the support you give me and I hope that I can continue to make these videos and lift you guys up in the same way that you lift me up. So thank you very much and I will see you guys next time for another episode of Maor Mondays. Catch you on the flip side. Bye! I understand why you're so cold to me with every breath you breathe. Ooh, onions. No, 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 no. 
I have a cut in my mouth and it's making it really hard for me to be my cute animated self. <laughs> Fucking train! I timed that really well. <laughs>